Hello YouTube, this is FTV here for FTV Productions of course and today I'm going to show you how you can create your very own startup orbs uh, start menu orbs for Windows 7 now I recently created a video on how to change your win Windows 7 start or startup orbs and these are these guys out here and uh, I got a question there can we make our own orbs and uh, that struck me with an idea I searched on the internet and I found a really really nice software to do that for you. Alright, so first thing what you want to do is download the file in the description. The link will be there. And uh, you want to download the file, it will be a zipped document. Inside there you have the start orbs creator and this is the actual creator of the orbs. Then you have Windows 7 orb changer that's allow that allows you to change your orbs. We will be able to soon. So I've created these three orbs here. These, this is the normal one, this is when it is highlighted, and uh, this is when it is pressed. And I'm going to show you how you can create your very own orbs just like this. Now these are very, very simple orbs uh, that haven't been created with much effort, so you can understand. And uh, Alright, so moving on to work, let's start and create a new document in Photoshop CS5. Alright, so we go to File, New and we create a new document that is 100 by 100 pixels and we, and we don't want it to be really large because uh, the start buttons are really, really large here and in the background contents, contents instead of white we're going to make that transparent and rest seems alright, we're going to click OK and there you have it, your very own this uh, small document then what we're going to do, we're going to zoom in a bit so that we can just see it a bit, little bit better and then we're going to grab the ellipse tool now if you hold, click and hold here you can uh, see this menu pop up and select the ellipse tool here then start from one corner go to the other and uh, you can even move it around uh, maybe I'll just position it here not to the very side and uh, I'll change the color but uh, not through a solid color I'll just right click blending options and I'll go over to gradient overlay and uh, we're going to pick some colors here so let's see we'll choose like uh, this color and uh, remember I'm not working very hard because it's just a tutorial and uh, you can understand how lazy people can be alright so ok that looks good ok and ok once again next thing what we'll do is we'll du duplicate this layer so you will right click duplicate layer and uh, shape one copy looks good ok then we're going to hit control T to bring up the transformation controls and uh, we're not you know, size it down, size this one down, just so that we can make a border, border sort of thing here. And I uh, will click on this take icon right here, and then we change this, uh, switch off the effects actually, and that makes uh, quite a this thing here. The next thing you want to do is, you want to go over to your browser, and you want to search for Windows logo, and you can use any of your um, images for it but I like the Windows logo because it's 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 gonna be the Windows icon right there so uh, I'm just searching for a Windows logo it does need to be very high quality because it's gonna be compressed for example this quality looks bad but when you lower down the size it's gonna be okay so I'm gonna just right click save image as I'm gonna save it to the desktop then what we're gonna do is go to file open from Photoshop and we're gonna open this Windows logo right here now comes the fun part what you want to do is click and hold on this eraser tool and select the magic eraser tool and that allows you to uh, well you'll see you just click on this white space here and boom it makes it transparent and then click on this one of these shadows and uh, boom they're gone and uh, we'll just click once on this R here and once here and I'll click once maybe here and here just so that you can just get rid of all the shadows you can see maybe one thing here and I want to secure that. Perfect. Now what we'll do is go to layer image and image size and we're gonna change that. T make sure you take constraint proportions and change the width to maybe like uh, 75. And uh, we click on OK. And uh, there you go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click and drag it out here. And uh, and it just sort of looks, uh, you know, distorted because it's quite zoomed and you can see it's 400 times but if you change that to 100 you'll see that it's quite good now this uh, looks to be the basic thing which we want to do for the normal orb so we go to file, save as 
and go to desktop and save it as a PNG called normal and I'm just going to replace the original ones I'm going to hit save next thing we're going to make the highlight one the one that happened when we move our cursor as you can see here so for the highlight I'll just duplicate this layer right click duplicate layer we have and I select the copy go to filter blur Gaussian blur and give it a sort of 13.9 pixel blur click on OK then we change the transfer mode to linear dodge or better known as add and that makes it uh, much brighter than the other ones so we go to file save as once again and change that to PNG and name this highlight okay and now for the pressed one what you can simply do is delete this layer right here and this layer we can go to right click blending options then we go over to bevel and emboss and change that to outer bevel and uh, we decrease or increase the size you can adjust that and if you click on contour it looks much better and uh, that looks good click okay, on OK go to file save as for the last time and we save it as a PNG called pressed.png save it OK and now that all of it's done I'm going to close up Photoshop and I'm saving the changes and there you go you will have three orbs like this the next thing what you want to do you want to right click and extract the files which you just downloaded and in that, from that you want to open up the start orbs creator and uh, mind you I recommend making a restore point before you make any changes here because um, uh, change uh, you can damage your computer in doing those so the best thing is make a, make a startup uh, rest uh, restore point and uh, start from new alright so moving on what I'll gonna do open up startups creator and in fact startups creator is going to ask you to create a restore point and if you click yes there it will create a restore point for you automatically alright so what you wanna do next is click on create genuine creation click on that and you can give it a name I'm just gonna name it YT orbs and this is important and you go over here select this radio button called normal and click on this browse icon then you go over to your desktop and uh, click on your normal image okay click on open then your image sets you can actually load the same image for the three but um, since we created three different images that creates a very very good look so we go over to the second one uh, click on this browse icon and uh, change select the highlight image then we go to select third one and uh, very simply and obviously we're going to select the pressed one one thing you can do is save it as well but there is this option here called bevel and that gives it a sort of 3D look and what I'll do is I'll add that bevel effect to all of our three images and uh, once you're done all the editing you can change your artist name change the gen genre and uh, maybe I'll just change leave it to miscellaneous and for the alright and so once you're done editing all of these you want to click on this floppy disk right here click on that and it's going to save your project you can save you can save it as a start orbs project or a portable network graphics file what I like to do is save it as a portable network graphics file and hit save and uh, what that's going to do is it's going to save your uh, creation like this and the next thing what you want to do is click on this blue arrow right here see that and click on apply and once you do that your explorer is going to vanish and it's going to reappear with your new orb and uh, that looks so cool there now you see that our orb when you move over your cursor slightly you know uh, glows so if you click on it, it changes and so that is where your creation matters a lot if you use the same image uh, things are going to be a lot different and I think I got some mail here so ending this tutorial and uh, this is all I actually wanted to show you so what do you want yeah one more thing you wanna uh, you know restore it back you wanna just close up this software and go over and open this Windows 7 orb changer version 2.6 and uh, just like in the previous tutorial you wanna change this use click and click on this restore original explorer backup and it's gonna restore your orb back to normal so yeah, that's all I want to show you. Hope you like this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.